Now coming to question number 29, which is asking number of real solutions of equation x square is equal to e power x. So if I make graph with little bit of precision, I think we can conclude how many solutions we may get. Like for 0, e power x will have values uh, 1. At x is equal to 1, e power x will have value equal to almost 3, somewhere here. So this graph will be going like this. Whereas graph of x square, if we draw, it will be upward parabola. At 1, its value will be 1. Okay. And it looks like the gap is going to be widened as we increase the values of x. Now to check, or you may do one more thing, you may put x is equal to 2 also. At 2, it will take just value 4. Whereas at 2, e power x will be somewhere around uh, 2.7 whole square, somewhere around 7. So it looks like the gap is going to be widened. But I will tell you one more logic for this. Please see how at x is equal to 0, the value of e power x is 1. Whereas this x square will obtain this value at x is equal to 1. Where its value is e. So let me draw it here with e. Now at this point, if you check slope of this graph is 2x and x is equal to 1, the slope will be 2 only. Whereas at this point, if you check the slope is e power x, that will be e. So the slope is more here than at this point. So then, 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 then definitely this is going to uh, increase rapidly than the graph of x square. Now, you may ask that maybe later on the slope of 2 power x will take over the slope of e power x. For that, let us just compare e power x and 2x. Okay, you can check at x is equal to 1, this e power x is e and 2x is 2 only. But if I further differentiate, this slope is going to be 2 for always. Let us compare the functions e power x and hx is equal to 2 power x. Why I am comparing it? Please listen carefully. Its derivative would be e power x and its derivative will be 2. Okay, already we have checked that at x is equal to 1, this e power x was more than 2 power x. Okay, and slope of e power x you can check at x is equal to 1 or beyond x is equal to 1 will be far bigger than 2 because its slope is going to be 2 always whereas its slope will also increase. So what we can expect that e power x will always be bigger than 2 power x. And hence you cannot even you know increase the slope of this graph if x is square then e power x and we will be getting this graph becoming you know out of reach kind of thing to this x square so there will be only one solution so answer for this question has to be b dear all if you do not make graph carefully there can be other possibilities also like this this is in my graph of e power x and the graph of x square could have been like this also but in this case also because e power x is an exponential function it will take over this e power x will ultimately take over and there will be three solution in this scenario. Or maybe there is a possibility that e power x and x square, they may touch each other at some point here and then you may have solution as two also. But we have already checked these two possibilities are not there, hence answer will be b. Okay. Now